I once worked with a guy who swore that eccentric based training, where you were really overloading the muscle and lowering down slowly, was the key to making gains. And by his volition, he even claimed to, in some cases, be gaining a pound of muscle per week. However, latest research is shedding more doubt on the role of eccentric training and whether or not it's really going to build that much more muscle or even be worth it at all. So Green is my friend Matt Schifferly back with another video to help you be fit and live free. And eccentric training is like anything else. It's a tool in your toolbox and it can be very valuable for helping you to build some muscle, not to mention control for exercises that you're kind of struggling with. It's very common and especially in the calisthenics world to be doing this with things like uh, progressive leg training or pull-ups. If you can't do pull-ups, people lowering themselves down. It's a good way to just expose the nervous system and your muscles to just a large amount of resistance in a bit more of a controlled way. And some of the old ways were like, yeah, well, you have more muscle damage, apparently through the eccentric phase of a lift when you're lowering down the weight. And we used to equate a lot more muscle damage with more muscle protein synthesis, therefore more muscle growth. But this has largely been cast out over various studies over the years. And this study, I'll put a link down below, is basically saying that it's kind of still a wash using just eccentric and concentric modes. We're roughly the same for when it comes to building muscle, but there's a much more important lesson to take away here. In general, eccentric training can just be a lot more work than it's worth and usually not something that is feasible for all types of exercises. So we wanna make sure that we're not becoming so immersed in the ideology of eccentric based training that we're like, I'm gonna do everything with eccentric training. Instead, pick and choose what exercises might be more appropriate for eccentric training for helping you to really subject the muscles to a high degree of resistance, things like pull-ups or a, a typical type of exercise that you have trouble with strength, but it's not necessarily going to be a much better way to go about building muscle and strength. And you're still probably going to get much more worthwhile stimulus through general dynamic concentric and eccentric training. Once again, I put a link down below for the Stronger by Science uh, report on that research. Thank you so much for watching. Be fit and live free.